In this lesson, we're going to talk about variable scope and why it's important to understand it when writing your JavaScript code. So quite simply, variable scope is where you're allowed to use your JavaScript variables, or at least where you're allowed to use them and get the expected result. So the place where you actually define your variables determines its scope and can restrict your ability to where you can actually reference that variable name. So I'm going to illustrate this using a few simple examples. So the main thing I've created here is a variable called name and also a function called say hi, which actually has another function inside it. And as you can see with the output on the right hand side, the say hi function is quite happily outputting the first console.log. And if we were to go inside that function and call the ask question function, you can see that quite happily works as well, including the value that's stored inside name. And we should probably have a question mark on there being as it's a question. So everything works with our two functions because the value of name is actually defined outside of those functions and so has a scope of the entire program. So if you think of it from a hierarchical point of view, because the name variable is defined outside of the say hi function, it's available inside it and also to any functions that are defined within the say hi function. So what about if we move the name variable inside of the say hi function? You can see nothing's changed, the name variable is still available to those two functions, but what happens if we try and log out the name variable itself outside of the say hi function? Because it doesn't exist outside of the say hi function, we don't get any result. So the key message here is that you can only reference variables, or at least you can only get their values, from the scope in which they're defined. So the same thing applies to functions as well. So if you look at the output on the right hand side, you'll notice we get an error because we can't call the ask question function outside of the scope of where it's defined. Just as a final example, if we were to move the variable of name inside of the ask question function, you'll see the first console.log inside of the say hi function now no longer has access to the name variable, so it just prints out the message hi without the value of name. So there's quite a lot more to understand about variable and function scope, and this is particularly true when working with objects in JavaScript. If you remember in a previous lesson, we briefly touched on the this keyword, which is used to reference an object that's been created, and this can form an important part of dealing with scope within objects. And this can form part of the variable and function scope when dealing with objects. But for now, you just need to know that variables have a scope of where you define them and where they can be used. So this might be a good opportunity in your own JavaScript environment to define some functions and some variables and move them around and see where and where you can't access them.